it's a beautiful new sky and I'm so delighted that you could make time to be with us today. I'm here in Naivasha to see what this beautiful school named High Peak Junior Academy are up to. But before we get into the swing of things, I'd like to give you a little bit of history of the word Naivasha. Because every time that word is mentioned, it's either a holiday, a hike or something in between. But what you didn't know about the name Naivasha is that the name itself was derived from the word Naiposha to mean the place of so much dust. But before the dust settles, or rather the dust settles here, we will appreciate what Beam and Block has been up to in a one-of-a-kind block, a school block that's happening right here in Enai Posha. Welcome. At a glance, the school is at its peak, quite literally. Everything about it from welfare, education and even social is sitting well with its students. The school sits on a generous piece of land with great views of the lake on that side and Naivasha's rooftop which happens to be Mount Longonot which is right over there. Mount Longonot aside, today we are talking about a different kind of rooftop right here in the heart of Naivasha. This, a beam and block rooftop. In its quest to have the school expanded, High Peak Junior Academy in Naivasha engaged Eco Concrete to have the beam and the block solution to their property. My name is Eric, I am working in Eco Concrete, Kenya. This uh, is yeah, High, Peak, High Peak School. We have used the three days to install the beams and, and uh, blocks, and uh, these are beams. And as it stands, Beam and Block has made its name in the location. My name is Mary Ngugi. I'm a health at Naivasha. I work at High Peak School as a contractor. Most people don't use these because they are not aware. But once you introduce it, you introduce it to us, some people are seeing it through here because I think this is the first building to use. The, the, the material. According to me, it is not as difficult as steel fixing. It is cheap and it is faster compared to steel fixing. Technology is sawa. You want to get a kit to Kopoa. The video material is in the second day to me. Quite a company is sawa. How long did it take you to put this together? Uh, so far we have used three days and uh, at this level we are at uh, some we are finishing up the installation. Okay. Yeah. And what's happening right over there? They are preparing the, the next part. We are going to install the beams. Uh, they, are, they are putting the, the formwork for the, for the ring beam so that uh, they can they can do the concreting concreting of the link beam. After the next week, we are going to install the the light wing. Yeah. How many rooms or how many classrooms does this school have? Seems to be quite a big school. Uh, there are much of uh, classrooms allowed. Uh, seven, yeah, seven including. Uh, we have the they have uh, the seven classrooms and uh, tuition area. Tuition area and uh, administration block. What will be right below here? The toilets and yes, and the gentlemen you see over there are setting up the beams just in time for the blocks. They are carrying the beam to the, to the required area. Then we lift them up to the and put them in place. These ones cannot be stolen, can they? They can't. They can't be stolen. You can't steal them because they have, they have been uh, designed for this particular area. We do the measurement. Uh, so these beams are for this uh, room or class. Yeah. All beams are measured to size, like this one. So at least we know where this one's gonna go. It's gonna go right over there. And we're not done. So, ring beams have already been set up. 
just in time for the next set of classrooms which will form part of this great school right here in Nayabasha. I went to the completed wing to see the finished floors and it is then that we can appreciate the topping after the blocks and the beams have been fitted. Uh, topping in a fanyango ya 2 inch, that is 50 millimeters. Uh, in a ratio 1 is to 3, that is 1 cement and uh, 3, three wheelbarrows of uh, fine aggregate. Yeah, quarry dust. Okay. Yeah. And what sort of blocks have you got in here? Is it the hollow blocks? Uh, in this part, we didn't block, bring the hollow blocks. We brought the solid block. Yeah. That is what uh, the client had chosen to, to do it. The beauty about these blocks is that it's easy for you to make um, provisions for either electricity or any other facility that you'd like to have in your ceiling, such as what you have over here. I have a very strong feeling that this might be the assembly area. Interesting. Once everything has been set and left to dry, we now can expect classes to continue, at least for the new streams and for the new kids on the blocks and the beams. <laughs>